to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to transform from one frame to another frame. I mean, how to jump from one frame to another another frame. So, go to new project and create new Java application project, and then give a project name transformation or transform from one frame to another frame give give your project name that what you like right and then click it finished and then if we are the transform is on transformation there's one source package inside source package there's one transformation package right click on that package and create one new J frame form and give this as for and do finished and then just drag it right and after dragging it just there are many palettes right that you can use to decorate your project to do, now we'll use first the first thing is panel and I'll make this panel size as big as that and then I'll go to property and I will set if I want I will set border also for the first thing I will set background color like right this background color and then I will set border yeah I will set border and rounded border if you want rounded border give rounded border and I will give thickness as 2 and that one is black right now now this yeah it's look good now the next thing that what, what I will use is label to write something to display some message or some text I will use label here and I'll right click and I edit text just give here the first frame and then to finish and go to properties and after going properties you can change background color for that and foreground means text color you yeah I will give here as red and then I'll click finish and I will increase the size of text right, right? and as well as font style I will give bold and then size font size is 36 now you look it looks this small size right yeah right now the next thing that I will use here is button right in button yeah right click and go to properties and there is text yeah, change this as next and then if you increase the button name size and font style just increase and change it going font and make it ok and if you want to change color of text just make it beautiful yeah it's green and then it looks like this Right. how much you want just keep it like this then okay now this is this are for first frame and we will use we'll create another second frame to do that just go to transformation and go to source package and go to main package and go to right click on it go to new and J frame and give your second frame and then just increase size and go to set layout and then set layout as absolute layout right of that again drag your panel over here uh, after dragging that panel just make it with size as of your background and then right click go to properties and change the background yeah right this background now in this to, to type something I uh, to write some text I already told you I will use label and I will edit this text as second frame and then the next thing is that I will go to properties to size to precise the font 
and I will give it a 36 and then I will change color to red and then it seems like this and the next thing is that button right in button go to properties and change your text in previous right and then increase your font size go to bold uh, and then give 36 your font size yeah. then click ok if you want to change this color and then go go ahead and here foreground right click on foreground and change color whatever you like yeah this cool now the come to the first and this is there there is one next button on clicking this next button you need to transform or you need jump into next second frame right to do that just go to events right click and events go to events and then there is one option action and then after that action perform and click it click on it and you will navigate over here coding now you need to code here and the code goes like this the now just you need to go in second frame right for that second frame second frame means this one right second frame and for second frame we'll create object as df and we'll use new keyword and we'll call second frame right now for second frame we, we created object as df and now we'll make it visible for that we'll call one method that is set visible and by default it, it takes two values that is a, a false or true so that is boolean value and in this case we'll use true by default is false so if you're passing false means it won't be visible there right now we'll call this one and then for second frame we'll go and after clicking this previous button you need to navigate into first frame to that go to events and then action action perform right and this is the method when we click that button it will call this method and inside this but method whatever code you are writing that will be executed during that clicking right now just we need to call first f a new first first frame this is first frame the f is object that is for first frame and now we'll make it set visible visible this is function we'll call and we'll pass through and then now we'll run it yeah now this is the first frame that we have seen after running our project and when clicking next it will give second frame right after that if you click on previous it will navigate to first frame and like that you will get continuously first second first second if you want to create many frames just create like this and on clicking which button on clicking which button and whenever you want at that time call like this and thank you for watching my videos and don't forget to subscribe to get more videos on java and as well as other programming languages